Jeff Gordon moves to the inside of Tony Stewart through turn number one. It's Gordon now on the inside, Tony Stewart on the outside. Gordon will take the spot coming up the hill, but they bump hard. Gordon's into the wall. <laughs> Just 18 laps to go. Juan Pablo behind them, diving all the way to the inside of the track, trying to pick up some spots. Oh, and he tangles with Harvick, and they both spin. Harvick's really mad at Montoya right now. He's parked in front of him. Here comes Kevin. He's going over for a little chit-chat with Juan Pablo Montoya. Temper is flaring here on a restart with 18 laps to go, and three of the contenders are out of it. A.J. Allmendinger, Marcus Ambrose up front. Already physical between the front two. He's got him out of the groove. Pushed him up the track. Nobody's going to give. There's contact between the race leaders. Bring it to me, baby. Bring it to me. Yeah! What a drive. What a race. And A.J. Allmendinger, he'll score his first career win. I love you guys. Thank you. The white flag for Kevin Harvick. Question is, does he have enough fuel to go the distance? Running out big. Joey Logano is pedaling hard. He runs out of fuel. Here comes the 22. <laughs> yeah, baby! Joey Logano gets the victory. Kevin Harvick rolls across the line. Oh, yeah, guys! Woo! Three wide going into turn number one. Dylan gets into Regan Smith and spins him. <laughs> Yeah, bud, we'll get him. Oh, and we've got issues. Ty Dillon, Regan Smith. Now they're pushing, now they're shoving. Officials are in between them now. I was going to talk to him about it, but I guess he didn't want to talk. I might have lost the championship today, but he sure as hell did too. There's zero chance that three car wins this championship, and uh, I'm going to make sure of it. That is Jimmy Johnson's all tell Chevrolet. A huge contact with the Armco, and watch as Jimmy climbs out of the car and says, Yeah, guys, I'm okay. All the equipment did exactly what it should do. Jimmy Johnson may have a few bruises on his shoulders and a stiff neck tomorrow, but that's gonna be the extent of the injuries. If they come to the white flag here at Watkins Glen International. Oh, big crash in turn number two. David Rudiman hard into the wall. He is upside down. Multi-car incident. David Reagan, Mark Martin involved as well. A tremendous wreck at the entrance to turn number two on the final lap. Oh my gosh. A fast road course. Now through the right hand turn, turn 11, back to the front straightaway. All heavy contact cars crashing. Oh. There's, there's Hornish. One car in flames. Heavy contact of 43 involved, Blaney involved. Probably six or eight cars involved. We have got cars everywhere. Carnage down here at the end of pit road. Boy, that was a huge wreck. Trouble off of turn number nine. Several cars have gotten together. A huge crash involving at least Sam Hornish Jr. Looks like yep. Casey got loose and tried yep. to correct it. Got into Sam and goodness gracious. Just as we saw the other day. Wow, huge lick by Jeff Gordon. I nailed him and spun him around like a top and my car just came to a halt. Just one of those days. Up front, it is Kyle Busch trying to hold off Brad Keselowski. Marcus Ambrose is there third in line. Tremendous battle coming down to the line with one lap to go. Oh, oh in the S's. Kyle spins in turn two. Keselowski slides wide. He's in the grass. Ambrose is in the grass. Battling for the lead and the win. A nudge, a push. Can Ambrose save it? Final quarter. Keselowski trying to pull up alongside, but Marcus Ambrose, for the second year in a row, will win at Watkins Glen International. It's probably one of the most incredible laps I have ever seen in my life. Just really good hard racing. So beating and banging, I think that's the way racing should be.